Hello friends, welcome to our next Monday craft day. This craft is going to be of Miss Grace's favorite animal. Do you know what my favorite animal is? Hmm. Do you have any ideas? I'll give you a hint. It's an animal that lives in the woods. It's an animal that I can see in my neighborhood. Hmm. If you said fox, you would be right. So our craft today is a toilet paper roll fox. So what you're gonna need is a toilet paper roll. I didn't worry too much about getting all the paper off of it because we are gonna cover it up. You're gonna need scissors, a pencil, paper. You're definitely going to need white paper. Um, but for the covering of the toilet paper roll, you can use construction paper or paint. So those would be an option for you. And a glue stick. So let's get started. I have a couple things that I wanna show you as we're thinking about the color of our fox. So if you use paint, if you have, you know, different kinds of paint, um, you might be able to make a shade that you like the best. So I have a light orange, which is very light for a fox. I have burnt orange. And I have orange spice. So all my paints are different shades of orange. Because foxes can be different shades, right? So these obviously are not real foxes, but I want to show you the different shades of colors for how foxes are represented. So here is my fox salt shaker. So this fox is a little bit more of a burnt orange red, right? And I also have a fox cookie jar to show you. So the fox in my fox cookie jar is a little bit of that lighter orange with um, brown, darker fur on its paws, okay? So we have a variety of colors to choose from. I also just wanted to show off my cute stuff. Okay, <laughs> so I'm gonna show you how to do this with construction paper even though I want to do mine in paint, but I'll demonstrate this for you. So I took my toilet paper roll and it can be hard to measure a cylinder, right? To imagine a cylinder being flattened and figuring out how long it is. So I have a little trick that I'm going to use. As you might be able to see, I'll make it darker. I'm just going to draw a line on my toilet paper roll like this. And I'm going to put that line at the edge of my construction paper. And then I'm going to roll my, my toilet paper roll across the paper. And once that line is in the same spot on the rotation at the bottom edge again, I know I've covered the whole length of it. So I'm going to roll. You're going to see your line at the top and it's going back down. It's touching the edge of your paper on the right side and coming back up with the line touching near the left side. So then I'm gonna draw a line to measure. Ooh, can you see my line? It's very light. That line to measure the length. It is a light line. I'm sorry if you can't see it. There we go. So that will be how much paper I need to make sure my toilet paper roll is 
covered. See? So now once I have that piece cut, if I were to wrap it and glue it around, just enough. So you can add a little bit onto that length too. To give your, your um, fox full coverage. You know what, since I'm already doing this, I guess I will do this in paper. But like I said, you're welcome to do it in paint. I might do another one later with my burnt orange. I like that color a lot. So what you're gonna do is, I have a little extra paper there. I'm gonna try to trim that off. And you'll glue your construction paper onto the roll. And then you do a little trim. I would glue the paper and then stick it to the roll. I finally have glue sticks today too as I've been complaining about not having glue sticks. And then you wrap this around. Like so. I should have added a little extra, but I really get that stuck down here. Okay. So that's what we have so far. To make the fox's ear shape, I'm actually, I don't have tape right here. Oop. I'm gonna grab some tape to reinforce my closed paper. Okay, so I'm going to tape this closed also. You might need to do it, that's okay. It can be the back of your fox if you want. Okay, so to make the ear shape for the fox, we're gonna fold the top in, if that makes sense. So I'll show you right here. I'm gonna push both ends, or both sides of the top of the roll and push one over the other, almost like you're wrapping a present. Almost like you're making that fold to cover the gift. So now we have these two little ears. So what we have to do next is make the face of our fox. So for this, I'm going to use my white paper and I'm going to do a heart shape. So I'm gonna just freehand a heart. You want it to fit on your toilet paper roll. So there's my heart. And I'm gonna cut that out. I'm going to draw oh I can't remember if I mentioned that you would need something to draw with I have markers today so I'm gonna draw little closed fox eyes and a nose you can draw open eyes if you would like. So there's my little face. Compare it to my salt shaker here. 
See, this is almost kind of a deep plunging heart shape too. And I'm going to glue that um, to my So my fox face looks like this. And I gotta keep those ears pushed down too. And give it a little glue to reinforce it there. I think maybe I bent too far. Okay, the last thing we'll do is draw and cut a tail for our fox body. So I'm gonna freehand almost a kind of pointed leaf shape like this. I want it a little bit bigger. tail and foxes a lot of the times the ends of their tails are white I'm looking at my cookie jar fox the end of his tail is not white so it'll do white today just because I feel like it so I'm gonna line up my orange piece on my white paper I know that I have the right shape here. I'll just trim that. And glue it to the tip of the tail. glue the tail. I'm going to glue the edge of the tail onto the back of your roll so it sticks out like that. And there is my toilet paper roll fox. Thanks for joining me friends. Share your fox in the comments of the Facebook page. Can't wait to see them.